what's happening to this world, where people are heading towards, and why we are watching these many destructions. Right now, the world is totally messed up. Literally, I saw the tears of God. That means how much impact this world is giving to God. So just God revealed me many things again. So in that, God is clearly saying to me like this in Genesis 6th chapter 11th verse. He told me like this. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and the earth was filled with violence. Why God is sad about nations? As now we are reading in Genesis 6th chapter 11th verse, God is saying earth is corrupted. And because of that corruption, we are watching wars and hatred is increasing and people are fully into jealousy and envy, many things, lust, many things are increasing. And God is showing me some churches and he's pointing out some churches and he's saying they are converting gospel according to them, simply modern churches. They are changing words according to them. They are preaching more about the blessings and they are preaching according to the people but not according to the will of God. In Ezekiel we are watching, there is one verse God will say, the churches are looking like dry bones. That means there is no flesh, like dead bodies. This is the message to every preacher. Keep that in mind. God is watching. God is going to judge everyone according to your things. So keep that in mind. And next thing, what is the main reason for this destruction? And what is holding behind this destruction? Just look into Jeremiah 6th chapter, 16th verse. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and look, and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is, and walk in it, and find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. See, live about these worldly people, keep them aside for a few minutes, just look into the people of God. When God is asking people to follow His paths, olden paths, like how ancient people used to follow, like disciples of God and God's generals, now God is asking, just look into them and follow the paths. And the people are saying, they don't want to follow that all, they want to follow their own things. What is the destruction? Internet world is destruction. If we are speaking about that, many things will come. So people are not ready to obey the word of God. That is also main reason God is holding this much of pain. And that is also the reason we are watching this many wars and this many destructions and lust is increasing. Now that Jesus came 2000 years back, and he established the tree of love. And now these current generations are breaking the stems of that love. Instead of that, they are adding the stems of hate. And now, please, this is very, very important. And this is what God wants everyone to follow. And just open 35th chapter, 8th verse of Isaiah. And a highway shall be there. And it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if they are fools, they shall not go astray. So very, very, very important. Lord is not caring about anyone, either you are wicked or anyone. But God is telling, there is a way, one highway. God is telling, everyone should walk on that way, which is holiness. You might be a thief or fornicator, but God is giving one more chance to everyone and He's telling, walk on that highway, which is holiness. Change your ways and change your paths. My friends, I'm saying, God is coming very soon because when I saw the vision of God, my eyes are totally with tears. I can feel the presence of God. I'm telling you, God is coming very soon. Don't misuse this chance because Jesus died for you 2000 years back on that cross. And don't forget that you are child of God and God is giving one more chance. See, don't 
hold any kind of things in you just ask the lord to forgive and just give your life to jesus today and i hope this message gave you the full idea and like why god is sad about the nations please change everyone and mainly churches if you like this message please don't forget to subscribe please like share and support this ministry by sharing to every of your friends because this message is very important to everyone so stay tuned and see you in the next video amen